Vodka on the rocks. Nico! Good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh, fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. Close to your dream, then something holds you back. No! Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna stop. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I look out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that age. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. Mo, you got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No. I need you to get that age. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people want to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are gonna have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dimitri is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It will make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. Big Phil, what's up? We're going to Port Tudor. Let's move. from him when they have the stuff. Then the buyers will hand over the funds. Could be simple. How come everything we get into starts off simple and ends up real complicated? Well, at least I don't have to see that weasel Dimitri in the flesh. Yeah, and then when Jimmy P set up the kid, there's something about him I don't trust. He ain't someone I work with more than once, no matter how much he's earned. That's a smart move. I worked with him and he double-crossed me. Showed me out to someone I had history with. I nearly got killed, and I never thought I'd cooperate with him again. <laughs> Money makes people do the strangest thing. Hey, are you guys here to pick up the cash? That's right. Where is it? When we get word that the round is good, we'll give up the cash. You just head into the compound and wait for us to give you the nod. Nico Bell, it's so good to be working with you again. I can't.
cannot say I have the same enthusiasm for this partnership. Have you given them the H? I want to get this money and go home. You know what? I thought, why should we hand over the H for this price? I thought it'd be easier if I just killed those guys and kept it. Easier for who? What the fuck are you doing? Me and Phil are in their compound. What's going to happen when they find out? If I was you, I'd go and get the money off them. It had to be on the side. That way we all win. Good luck and you go. Fucking Dimitri. He's killed the guys collecting the stuff. Shit, we're screwed. They ain't gonna let us leave. All right, if we're fighting, we're fighting for the money. We got to jump on them right now. Follow me. Up on the roof, Nico. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on inside. All right, the money's in there. Once we're in, it's all or nothing. Let's go then. Come after me. Come on! We need a car if we're gonna- Get focused for real! 
the first as long as they fifteen. Selling crack to the fiends at the sea. Three to eight, full of fuck to get them to leave. No pistol, just a chain. So no one's in range. No trains in the AK. Come on, there's the no way through. We are getting the cash off him. They sure of that. This is not going to stop us getting the money. I just want to take the money and go home. situation like that. I guess you get used to it when you hang around with him long enough. If they got tipped off before Dimitri called us, we would have been fucked. It would have been an execution. Dimitri likes to set up executions. He set up his best friend, Mikhail Klaus. You gonna kill him then? No, it's over for me. I'm out. If I was going to kill him, I would have done that instead of this deal. Now I got the money and I'm going to forget all about this shit. Good luck to you, man. I hope it works out. Thanks, Nico. I can't think of anyone else I would have preferred to have with me in a spot like that. I just wish I hadn't been put in that position. Keep safe and enjoy the money. Ciao. Well, cousin, we're rich. Is it a deal? You work with Dimitri? That's great, Nico! Yeah, maybe it would have been if he hadn't screwed me over and nearly got me killed. But he didn't get you killed. You got the money and to survive. We will celebrate at the wedding reception. Cheer up, Nico! All right, Roman. Today is your and Mallory's day. I will be happy for you both. We're back on top, Nico. The Pecorinos is still somebody. Phil's bringing me my case to the cash, and Dimitri still got hold of the horse. This is perfect! I hope your partnership is a fruitful one. Good luck, and goodbye. You've been a useful set of hands. Look after yourself. Mallory is pregnant. If it's a girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, Roman. You'll make a good father. See you Sure, Roman. I'll see you at the church. I'm looking forward to it. Nico, today is going to be the happiest day of my life. I'm getting married to the beautiful Mallory. How is the best man? He's fine. You better be better than fine, cousin. Get to the church for 10 a.m. and remember to wear some nice clothes. I want you looking good for the wedding. Hey, I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my mom. See you soon. Tell Frank I'm divorcing her anyway. Get me. You're looking really nice. Shall we go to the church? So. So. What? So. This is weird. Why is this weird? Because I'm going to the wedding of a couple I've never met with a man I barely know. Okay, maybe it is. But maybe it is. I feel like I want to get to know you properly. I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city recently. I feel like it's time to move on. Start living my life right. But you're a tough guy with a death wish. A thieving, murdering, drug-dealing idiot. Do you think you can just walk away from all that? 
I can try. Good luck, Nico. I really hope you can walk away. But do you think the men you've dealt with will just let you leave and walk into the sunset? They will have to. I thought that when you do the work that you do, that people get their hooks into you, and then there's no way out. I was good once. I was a normal kid who got sucked into a war he didn't believe in. Forced to watch his friends die. Forced to do things he did not want to do in order to survive. If I can get pulled into this world, I can pull myself out. I've tried to make the right choices. To surround myself with good people rather than bad ones. Good people like you. That has to count for something. Tell me, have these good people been hurt by what you've had to do? Has your cousin been caught up in your mad life? Uh, maybe you're right. Roman has been hurt. He has lost a lot because of me. Someone without his good naturedness and optimism would have been broken by what has happened to him. I am lucky that he is still happy to be part of my family. The one family I have in this city. He might be your only family, but he's not the only one who cares about you, Nico. Really? Don't be stupid. I'm not coming to this wedding for the free nibbles. I'm coming because of you. Because no matter how stupid I think this is, I'm willing to take a chance on you. Willing to take a chance on the possibility you can walk away from the craziness. That there is a real human being under all that hardness. The rational half of me says, get away from him, protect yourself. But the other half says, he's good, he can be redeemed. Well, which half are you going to listen to? I'm Irish, Nico. We're a people known for strong whiskey. Mystics and Catholicism. Rational blood doesn't flow through these veins. You won't regret this, Kate. I'll look after you. I'll protect you. Oh, time to preen like a peacock. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mwah! Yes! Wonderful! Yes, I did it! Hey! Ah, yes! Congratulations, cousin! Thanks for coming! All right, yes, okay. Yes, we are married. Yes, 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 Find the meat, I'm gonna call you. Leave. Okay. <laughs> Damn! I was meant to protect her. Roman. I'm so sorry, cousin. You've crossed the line, Dimitri. I got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend. 